Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to compress video files without losing too much quality. So this should be a pretty quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. So this can be kind of a tricky subject and I just want to put out there that this might not necessarily come out as great as you guys are thinking it might, but it should be a pretty decent quality and I just want to put that out there because if you have really huge files and you have to shrink them, you really don't have much of a choice. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys the before and after kind of effect. So I'm going to open up a web browser here. And now I'm going to go over to google.com and I am going to type in handbrake and then hit enter, one word. One of the best matches should be handbrake.fr. So you want to open that up. I believe it's just a French domain. That's what the FR stands for. So you want to download handbrake right from this site and it should say secure up at the top you want to make sure you're downloading it from the official site here and it should also be a pretty quick download it's only about 26 seconds remaining and it's about 9.5 megabyte file at the time of this recording and I should point out that the video file that we're going to be compressing in this video is not going to be that big and the reason for that is I don't want this video to be too long but the idea remains either way so I don't want you guys getting the wrong idea And then once it's finished downloading, I'm just going to open it up. And if you receive a user account control window, you want to select yes. It's going to say welcome to the setup wizard. Select next and then agree to the end user license agreement. And you want to install this application. It should be pretty quick. This is completing the handbrake setup wizard. Select finish. Now I'm going to open up the application and keep in mind my intro on the desktop is the file we're going to be compressing in this video today. So underneath source selection you want to select file, open a single video file. I'm going to go to the desktop and open up my introduction file here. And this will work for any video file, generally speaking, most generally accepted files. And now for destination file, you want to select browse, and now you want to name this what will be compressed file, whatever you want. So I'm going to say test compression file, and then I'm going to hit enter. And then once I have done that, what you're going to do is left click on the video tab right down here, and underneath content quality, you want to shift it down a little bit. You want to drag it to the left here a little bit. So let's say we're going to drag it over to 30, which will be a little bit lower quality, but we're not sacrificing too much here. And then once you've done that, go back over to the picture tab and then select starting code. And it shouldn't take too long because it's a pretty small file here. But again, I just want to point out that quality is pretty subjective. And when I say losing quality, I mean dramatically going from 4K to 240p, basically. So, just want to put that out there. And depending on how big this file is, it might take a little bit longer for some over others, so just be patient. And once it says the queue finished, you can close out a handbrake. And now we see we have our new file down here. 
And if I hover over it, it says 6.91 megabytes compared to the original file, which was 12.8 megabytes. So just by shifting it down a few notches, you can see we moved about half the space it was taking up. So if I open these files up here, and I would play these files for you as well just to show you guys a comparison. However, every single time I play it, my video recording software crashes on me. So that's something I have to look into on my own. But I just want to put out there that the quality is pretty good. They're both very comparable to each other. It's definitely not night and day like some people might have you believe. But this is primarily geared towards reducing the size of a file. You can see we basically cut this whole file down by 50%. And we didn't lose that much quality, at least from when I went back and watched it when I wasn't recording the screen, because for some reason it's really creating some issues for my recording software, like I said. But it's pretty decent, and it's a fairly popular tool itself. The Handbrake is a pretty popular video, music, audio editing file utility. So I do hope this brief video was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.